Hi guys, hope you all are doing well today. Bishop Sam also spits fire. He said that Ghanaian Christians are hypocrites. He's surprised the way they all trooped out to welcome Pastor Jerry Eze. Remember him? What God cannot do does not exist. A lot of people were there. Over 50 whooping thousand people came to worship. Men, even including some Ghana pastors. <laughs> I will play that the video. Why is Bishop Sam also angry? As a pastor, he's not supposed to be angry because they are all working for the common good. You know, they are all, all like uh, one body, you know, working in the Lord's vineyard, you know, saving souls. They are all in the business of saving souls, working for one master, which is Jesus, okay? So, I don't know how he allowed the spirit of jealousy to overcome him. It's not called for, you know. Um, you know that a prophet is not respected in his own land. And you know, when you stop collecting money, stop charging people big, big money before you pray for them. Pastor Jerry Eze does not collect money. So I think that is one of the biggest secrets. And I will tell you my last thought after this video, okay? Please like, share, subscribe, and also tell me your thoughts in the comment section. Sometimes eh, I am very surprised about Daniel. How hypocrisy we are. We don't respect our own. And we don't honor our own. And we don't love our own. We celebrate foreigners than our own. But there's no foreigner that will celebrate Ghanaian. Look at how Ghanaian members and Ghanaian Christians follow Nigerian pastors and respect Nigerian men of God and even Ghanaian pastors. That's why we kill all our prophets. That's why we kill all our men of God. As if we don't have anointed men of God in this country. After every prophet in Ghana is considered as sick, every anointed man of God. So for the hour, we can you That is funny. He said, every prophet, every pastor in Ghana is considered as fake. It depends on how the pastors over there are treating, you know, doing their, doing to their, what they are doing to their people. It depends. Maybe they are charging a lot of money or maybe the people don't trust them so much based on their acts, you know, by their acts, you know, the acts of the apostles. So, by their fruit, you shall know them. But, well, it's okay. Um, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all other things other things will be added on to you so i think the Ghanaian pastors um if you if people are not patronizing them they should start seeking the kingdom first forget about money charging people money before you pray for them uh, <laughs> you know even to see vision for them you have to charge money that is not to say that in nigeria they don't have a lot of false prophets too they have them but we have few good ones Pastor A. Jerry Eze is one of them. Just believe in prayer. He believes in praying for the people. Praying, 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 praying. Not just Ghana people are tuned into him. All over the world, people are tuned into Pastor Jerry Eze. So, because he's doing the right thing, people are seeing that he's sincere. Uh, he has the right spirit in him. That is why people believe in him. So, if you can uh, emulate him, be like him, study him, and understand why are people loving him. Why is that anywhere he goes to, crowds will be there. You know, pulling crowds in different nations. So just study him, understand everything about him. You know, especially stop collecting money. Stop charging people money. Just be real. Just be the prayer pastor. Pray for the people. Pray for them. Fast for them. Then you see people start seeing sincerity in you. And naturally, people will start gifting you money. Gifting you with a lot of gifts, even without you asking. Because... People are tired of pastors charging money, charging money, charging money before they pray for you. What's the difference? You go to native doctor, they'll still charge you money and tell you they have to buy materials before the oracle will see you talk something. So the same thing, when pastors still are charging money, it now looks like they are the same with the native doctors who will first collect money, tell you they have to fast, uh, buy this and that for people that will break their fast, you know what they will eat before the, the Lord will speak to them. I don't even understand which of the Lord is speaking to them because most of them obtain their power from the other side. <laughs> you know what I mean? The other side. So, all right. So that is it. I don't think uh, what the pastor is saying, uh, this bishop, it makes a lot of sense. You know, um, even Nigeria too, we used to have foreign pastors that used to come from America, Europe. They will come and still crowd will welcome them. The days of Rehan Bonki, Name them. Big, big pastors from America too used to come to Nigeria and we welcome them. You see massive, massive crowds coming to welcome them, to worship with them, you know, to see what the Lord can do for them. And all those crowds in Ghana that came 
to you know worship with pastor say jerry is it <laughs> it means that those are people with problems there's problem everywhere so Ghanaian pastors have to do better start they have to sit up you know that shows that your people are really tasty for miracle mm? tasty for miracle for healing most of them are sick spiritually sick some of them are tied spiritually so you guys have to pray a lot and fast a lot and retrace your steps if you have fallen out of faith maybe you have gone to the other side to take power you need to come back to the lord and um you know seek his kingdom and do the right thing and <laughs> you'll bounce back okay after all uh wh what are you crazy for like if the crowd are coming to worship it's not god they are they are coming to pray to or oh, is it pastor jerry Eze that it's not the god that is coming to answer their prayer no pastor jerry Eze will still pray and they will still pray there and god will answer them so that is it it's just prayer he's just a man of prayer so you too can do the same thing you can still be a man of prayer like pastor jerry Eze. in sincerity with your whole heart you have to hook and be connected to the spiritual realm okay so um unless otherwise you are thinking that pastor jerry Eze have come to ghana to pack all the money to take all the money in ghana no um it's all right um it's their own opinion they are not happy about it <laughs> they feel insulted by nigerian pastors coming there and crowds trooping after them mm, well 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 it's okay it's okay um i don't know what to say in this one though. me i'm safe i'm tired of talking all right guys you tell me your own thoughts in the comment section um some of the pastors already in ghana are not happy i don't think they should be angry they should not because they are all working for god they are all working for god and God, with only Him, can choose who He wants to use, you know, to deliver who and who. Every pastor have who they will deliver. So, Pastor Jerry is it's his time. He has come to deliver those that he should deliver by the power of God. So, he's doing his own job. So, you too face your own job. If you have only 50 members, that is the number you have been given to guide, to shepherd, you know. So, um... The jealousy is, is not necessary. The envy is not necessary at all. So don't allow um, evil spirits to influence you negatively. Else they will misdirect you and you will perish at the end of the day. So retrace your steps. If you are jealous of him, no. Remember that even you pastors in Ghana, people are, even your fellow pastors are jealous. In, you are jealous in one another there too. <laughs> I don't know. In church business, they do jealous each other. This one is strange. It's strange. To see pastors jealous in each other because of crowd, crowd, crowd. Why is he pulling crowd more than me? And that is why some of them will now go out there to, to get extra powers, evil powers. To see vision, prophecy, to do fake miracles. Some even do RNG. RNG miracles where they just pay people to come and, you know, act like they, they cannot walk. And now they can walk. They cannot talk. Now they can walk. Just to pull crowd. Just to pull crowd. All right. It's okay. Mm, no problem. See you guys later. Tell me your thoughts in the comment section. So, are Ghanaian Christians hypocrites? No way. They still pray online with Pastor Jerry Eze and they still go to their church to worship with their pastor, to pray along with other members. You know? So, that's it. That's it. Um, there's no way it is written in the Bible that you must stick to your pastor. You should not visit any other church. Even the Bible says, test all spirits. Test all spirits. By so doing, you can differentiate which one is which pastor is operating with the good spirit and which one is operating with the bad spirit. Because if you stick to one pastor, how would you then be able to tell if your pastor is fake? If your pastor is really preaching the true gospel? So by the time you go to different churches, you can differentiate it. You can say, oh, my pastor charges money. My pastor will tell us that for him to do deliverance, he has to suck the breast. You know, that's how we have seen other pastors do. Some we say it's by kissing they do deliverance. Eh? So those ones are not in the Bible. Some pastors will say, they, if a lady is looking for the fruit of the womb, she wants to get pregnant, she cannot, she has been barren for years. Some pastors will be like, they have to make love, sleep with her, make love to her, you know, like what I mean, banging her. They have to do it to her, uh, to sanctify inside there, to make it clean for the husband to now enter and get her pregnant. Those ones are not in the Bible. They are not in the Bible. A lot of things pastors do are negative. It's not written anywhere in the Bible, but they just manufacture their own gospel. So that's why you have to test all spirits and you have to be spirit-filled. 
read your Bible. Read your Bible yourself. Read Bible time and time and time over again. Don't just read it once and say it's over. No, keep reading the Bible every day. Make it a duty to read. You know, because if you don't read, these pastors will be able to brainwash you easily and mislead you. You know, so knowledge is power. Okay, my people perish for lack of knowledge. So when you read, you have knowledge and no one can make you perish under his own <laughs> preaching. You know, like all these our fake pastors everywhere. They, 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 they brainwash people because people don't read. If you, if you are the kind of person that read the Bible, you can easily tell when your pastor is going off point, when he's just making things up himself, you know, saying things that are not meant to be said. So start reading your Bible from today and pray yourself as well. God hears everybody. He's everywhere. He's your creator. He's my creator. Pastor Jerry says he's creator. Okay. So I'm out of here, man. I am Chi Chow. One love to you all. Like, share, subscribe. Bye bye. See you guys later. Tell me your thoughts.